If you can get it anywhere near 20, it's great because you're gonna spend for a wired Xbox 360 controller, you're gonna, you're gonna spend around 20 bucks. So to get a wireless that has the fob and the fob is plug and play, makes it great for the Pi, Android TV, uh, many, many other applications. <laughs> And another one. This time we have the Mars G01. I got this for 14 bucks, so under $20 controller. I did the G02 the other day. This is a giveaway. It's going to someone else. Um, this one, I forget, is it wireless? Yeah, it is wireless. So it should work because the G02 worked. It's wireless, super cheap, and uh, I'm excited about this one because maybe we have a, a cheap Xbox 360 style controller. So you uh, don't have any plastic on this one, you just slide off the box. If you slide off the box, you open Ooh, and it has a little, this is the first time I got a carry bag in one of these things. Nice, I like that, a little dust cover for the controller. Nice touch. You get the uh, instruction manual. You get the fob, oh, there's a little piece of plastic on here. I was like grabbing the fob. You have the fob, 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 2.4. You have the wireless controller here. It's got these big grips on there. If you guys like those big grips, it's got them. Uh, weight wise, it's pretty light. Again, I lo I'm loving the D pad. Nice. Start select, power button, it has an XDA. When I press the power button, it's searching right now. Uh, you have micro USB, and you also have a reset switch on the back. Triggers are just like Xbox 360, almost identical. A little quieter, I'd say, than Xbox 360, to be honest, really quiet. Pretty quiet on the buttons. And then underneath, this is cool, you get a um, USB to micro USB, and you also get a micro USB to female USB. So a lot of options here, um, as far as extensions and things like that. I'm actually quite impressed at like, the packaging and the bag and these little extra things. Like That's pretty cool. I'm really digging this so far. As far as battery life, let's check out what it's advertising here. Battery capacity, 600, nice. So dual vibration motors, 2.4, plug and play, professionally designed and ergonomically pleasing. Mm. And then up to 20 hours of work time. So let's give this one a shot. All right, moving along here, we have the Tronsmart G01. Uh, this one, regular price is around $22, $23. It's totally wireless. It comes with the wireless fob here, so plug and play. Let's go ahead, I already have it configured, but let's configure this again. You hold down A, comes up as a Microsoft 360. Um, some things off the bat is it's light. It does have these little grippies on the side, which are decent. I mean, I've seen better, but for the price, they're, they're cool. And as you see here, it configures just fine with the Raspberry Pi, no issues at all really uh, easy. The D-pad is a little different than some of the other ones I've reviewed. You see it's only a four directional, but it still does the diagonals. It's just some people like more of a round D-pad. I pr actually prefer it this way. Good battery life. I think it's up to 30 hours. It has a reset button, micro SD. I mean, that little dust case was pretty cool. I think I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. Ooh, nice launch. Ooh, get out of my kitchen. So as you see here, D-pad really responsive you know the harder you hold it the more whoa whoa did you see that computer that computer was like get out of my kitchen um triggers are nice triggers as i mentioned earlier in the video are very much like the xbox 360 almost identical with the with the way they look and feel and uh what are we third huh we got second right here um, whoa, see the D-pad, it really is um, very, <laughs> see if you press it too hard, do you see how fast I turn? You gotta, you gotta, it is very delicate. Great game. Drifted out, uh, uh, am I about to get first as this last lap? Two laps left, this is a lot of running, okay, that's good, you guys get it. So, awesome for Super Nintendo. Um, it does have an X, a D, and an A. Uh, different mode. I think one's Android, one's X input, and then D digital input. And then as far as Nintendo 64, 
I mean, I'm picking. Uh, we could do F zero again. I'm picking games, racing games, because racing games are great uh, as far as you know, checking out the analog and. and so as you see, if I just hit it a little bit, it's just using a little bit, and then you get more, you get more of a flow. So it is very well tuned. Ooh, ooh, getting a little sideways. Oh! Power energy. Oh, this is package. Shave the second off that time. So here you can see the controller. And watch it. I go all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Some more micro movements. Uh, it does vibrate as well, by the way. Ooh, we shaved a couple off. Okay. So there you have it. This is the Tronsmart G01. Triggers just like the Xbox. Not too loud. Very quiet, actually. Weight is light. It does not have a cell phone holder on it, so it is only the controller. But a great option, especially as the Xbox 360 controller becomes more and more expensive as they're probably phasing it out. The grips here on the right is really nice little feature. And for me to get this for $14 when it was on sale is a killer deal. If you can get it anywhere near 20, it's great because you're gonna spend for a wired Xbox 360 controller, you're gonna you're gonna spend around 20 bucks. So to get a wireless that has the fob and the fob is plug and play, it makes it great for the Pi, Android TV, uh, many, many other applications. So I'm gonna have to give this one an A especially considering the price. Awesome, awesome controller. Let me know what you guys think about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.